knee pads. Got a few right here. We're going to talk about one in particular, and that's these here, these tough belt. And I'm going to do a complete review of them because I really like them. And they have their good points, and they do have a bad point, which I'll get to. And we're going to cover all that coming up. I'm Roger. Welcome to the shop. And the subject today is going to be knee pads. And back when I was a what they call a cub, which would be an apprentice electrician, I was back as I was 18, so that's been a few years. Uh, one of my jobs was back then I did houses, was going around putting all the receptacles in everywhere, and I crawl around place to place. And the uh, journeyman I had was teaching me. My journeyman would always yell at me, "Get off my knees! Sit on a bucket! Sit on a block!" Put, a pad, put some knee pads on, get off your knees, you're going to ruin your knees. I'm like, oh, old man, you know, I'm fine. Well, over the years, and I worked in the electrical field for 42 years before I retired, crawling around on your knees will take its toll. And whether you're an electrician or a carpet layer or a floor, or anything you do where you're on your knees a lot, it takes a toll on them. You need something to protect your knees. Uh, you know, if you're doing so, it's only going to take a minute, you know, well, okay, you know, a little quick up and down, although I don't get up and down as quick as I used to anymore. But if you're going to be on your knees for a period of time, you either need to get one of the little portable knee pads you throw down and put your knees on it, or you actually get some knee pads. And I've had several different ones over the years, and they vary in price. You can spend a little, you can spend a lot. One of the ones I used for years, see, so here they're called knee chaps. And they're not expensive, they're under $20. And they got little Velcro straps that go around your leg and sit on your knee. And they, you know, they do a somewhat adequate job for little short periods. Or if I'm out in the, perhaps I'm in the garden and I'm going to get muddy, then dirt doesn't really stick with these. You let the mud dry off and it just brushes off. So those are like okay. So if you're going to be on a hard surface for quite a bit of time, these are made by AWP, HP, back it says gel zone. Hopefully you can see that. And right here there is a gel. And these do protect your knees fairly well. And on the front is a tread that gives you some traction. So if you happen to be working on a roof, for example, uh, this will actually grip the shingles. This will too, but you'll wear through this pretty fast on shingles. This here is very, very durable. I've had these for years. But, as I was working on the renovation house, if you've seen any of the videos there, I had a large amount of flooring to do, laminate floor. And while these were, I could say, okay, they weren't really cutting it because when you stand up, and it doesn't matter if it's this one or the other one, eventually they slide down, they slide up, they shift to the left, shift to the right, and you're constantly having to readjust them. So I was looking for something that was a little bit better. And Tough Belt is the brand, and we've got these on Amazon, and they also have a gel fit thing here, and they're marked left and right, so you know which leg to put it on. And although it makes you look a little bit like you're crippled when you have it on, they're comfortable. They don't do this. They don't do this. They stay where you put them. And once you adjust the Velcro strap on the side here, as you pull this around, and I'll get the camera around, I'll show you how these go on in a minute. You can pull it back around, goes in this little keyhole slot here, it locks. They're easy to take on and off without having to readjust them every time. Uh, got these on Amazon. I'm not going to put a link in because I've done that before and then it backfires because somebody moves the ASIN number and it has a different SKU and it, it doesn't work. So it's called Tough Belt. So you can find them on Amazon. You can probably find them some other places. But I'm going to reposition the camera here and give you a little uh, demonstration of how they work. And like I said, they worked uh, real well. Yes, I know the floor is dirty. We've been doing a lot of work in here, so there's sawdust and stuff all over the place. But it's a shop. All you know, these guys with these perfectly clean shops must not ever do anything. Anyway, to put this on, this is obviously the left with my left leg. Position your knee under there. And I've already had this preset because it, I've been using it so much. This little 
thing here fits right down the keyway, snaps in, same thing on the other one, pull this around, Put the strap underneath, goes over, boom. Of course it would have helped if I would have put it on straight, but there it is. So then when you kneel down, or you move your legs, as you can see, this hinges on the side and does not shift. It stays where it's supposed to be, and as you crawl around, it stays. It doesn't do rock from side to side like a lot of knee pads do. So I really like these, and they're, like I said, they weren't cheap. I, I know they were over $50, but they're certainly worth the investment, and it's worth it to protect your knees. It's got a nice hard shell on it. You can actually crawl around on concrete and uh, be comfortable. So, we'll get the camera back up, and then I'll talk about what you don't want to use these for. Okay, now we're going to talk about what you don't want to use these for. The front shell of this, right here, is made of HDPE. That's high-density poly polyethylene, and it is slick. So if you're a roofer, and you're crawling around on shingles in a patch, this isn't for you. Because this will slide on shingles. It's, if you're a roofer, this is not for you at all. But if you're doing things down on uh, what I like to call down on level ground, where you're doing flooring or maybe some concrete work, you're doing some edge, concrete edging or working in your yard and along the driveway, edging the driveway or something to get rid of the weeds, and you need to protect your knees, these are the way to go. They're comfortable. They don't shift. They're easy to put on and off. You don't have to adjust them every time. Uh, and I'm not sponsored by them. I bought these, but I wanted to talk a little bit about them. Uh, there again, if you're doing the roofing thing, you want something like this. It's actually got a, these AWPs that actually have tread on the front. And when I have, I don't do much roofing anymore. I'm a little old for that. Hire people to do that now. Uh, on small jobs, for example, I did a bee shed last fall. Uh, a couple of videos on that. I wore these up there. Or I sat on my butt as I shingled because it wasn't a very steep roof. But... This is uh, what you want if you're on some place where you don't want to be able to slip and slide. These are not worth a hoot on a floor if you're trying to slide your knees because they don't slide. These will slide around, but if you're trying to do a roof with them, you're going to wear through this front thing pretty quick. But they're good like in the garden if you're going to get them all muddy you can just let it dry and brush it off. Um, I haven't tried these out in the mud. I, I don't want to because they're pretty good and I want to keep them fairly pristine. Um, have any other projects come up or need to be on my knees. So if you got anything out of this, my little knee pad review here, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Uh, i said you can look for these on Amazon. They're called Tough Built. Um, not put the link because that always backfires. But, of course, we're always looking for subscribers. So next to that subscribe button's a little bell. You click that bell, you'll be notified when I post another video. Why well, is Roger in the shop with a assortment of knee pads? Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.